A letter of credit is a commercial instrument often used in sale of goods transactions to guarantee payment to the seller. The bank or financial institution that issues a letter of credit is typically obligated to pay the seller once the seller presents documents confirming shipment of the goods. But in Stotchen v. J. Henry Schroeder Banking Corporation, the court considered whether a seller's potential fraud affects an issuing bank's obligation to make payment on a letter of credit. In 1941, Charles Stotchen and Robert Schwartz entered into a contract with Transy Traders Limited, an Indian corporation, to purchase bristles from Transy. To pay for the bristles, Stotchen and Schwartz contracted with J. Henry Schroeder Banking Corporation for Schroeder to issue an irrevocable letter of credit to Transy. Under the letter, Transy could make drafts for portions of the purchase price, and Schroeder would pay Transy upon shipment of the specified goods and presentation of an invoice and bill of lading. Transy placed cases of material on a ship, obtained a bill of lading from the shipping company, and obtained the typical invoices. Pursuant to the letter of credit, Transy drew a draft to the order of Chartered Bank of India, Australia, and China, and delivered the draft and documents to Chartered Bank. Chartered Bank presented the draft and documents to Schroeder for payment. Stotchen filed suit against Transy and Chartered Bank, claiming that Transy attempted to defraud Stotchen and Schwartz by shipping worthless materials instead of the goods for which the parties had contracted. The complaint further alleged that Chartered Bank participated in the fraud by attempting to procure payment of the draft for Transy. Therefore, Stotchen sought a declaration that the letter of credit and the draft were null and void. He also sought an injunction to prevent payment of the draft. Chartered Bank moved to dismiss, asserting that the complaint failed to state facts sufficient for Stotchen to maintain a cause of action.